This is Caleb with Hackaday. Now the project I'm about to show you is easily one of the coolest ones I've been able to do. Unfortunately, it was also one of the most frustrating because I was unable to capture the effect on video. I'll tell you more about that later. What I built this time was a living nightlight out of glowing algae. Bioluminescent dinoflagellates occur naturally in the ocean and glow extremely bright. They look like a blue or green glow stick. Sometimes there's so many of them an entire shoreline will glow bright blue. It's wild, it's crazy to see, and I wanted a piece of that in my home. This was my idea for how the uh, lamp would look. I got this Klein bottle, it's really cool, you'll have to check out the link for these. It's a continuous surface that theoretically has no volume. Um, of course you can fill it up with stuff. And I've 3D printed a custom stand for it. This holds it up, make sure it doesn't get knocked over. Now the algae only illuminates whenever it's agitated. So I figured I would take uh, the idea of a stirrer that you would use in chemistry and apply this to the Klein bottle. To do this I've made the lower part of the base here. I threw a tiny servo in there, which I'm not sure if you can see that. And I printed out this wheel with two magnets on it. I'm going to drop a BB into the Klein bottle and we will move that BB around with the servo to agitate the um, algae. Now I have a suspicion that this and the BB, as you saw, aren't going to be strong enough to really get a good light going. Um, so as a backup, I've taken this, stolen this from my children. It creates a tornado in here with a little, um, you know, like a DC motor with a paddle on the end of it. Extremely simple, but I actually think this is going to end up being more effective. This is just so much prettier though, so we'll give it a try. Okay, I've been playing with this for a couple days now, and this stuff is really, really cool. It looks just like a glow stick, a uh, blue glow stick, whenever you shake it up. It's truly beautiful. Uh, this container, the BB I was using to swirl it around, just didn't agitate it enough to really get it glowing. You could kind of see a swirl on the bottom, but it just wasn't enough to really get it going. This one worked fantastic, except it has a leak. So in between each time I wanted to try to film, I had to put it back in these containers that it came in, which aren't as pretty, but they do the job. That brings me to the next problem I had. I couldn't film it. The camera that I'm using right now to talk into just wouldn't pick it up. It was too dark in the room and the algae doesn't glow quite bright enough to, to pick up on the camera. And this camera wouldn't pick it up either. And neither would my point and shoot. So I borrowed this guy and it picked up it a, a little bit, but I couldn't quite get the exposure how I needed it to show off. It was still pretty blurry until finally I borrowed this one which seems to work okay. I've had this in place a few weeks now and I can easily say this is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. The algae pulses and lights up with every step I take across the room coming to my side of the bed. Just the vibrations of my feet hitting the floor are enough to agitate it. Uh, I can lay here and reach up and give it a few taps and it lights up for 30 seconds pretty bright and then after that individual algae particles will light up like fireflies in the mix in here uh, for easily a minute afterwards. It's just so freaking beautiful. I can't believe it. I've bought some microalgae food and I plan on keeping this alive as long as possible. Be sure to leave a comment letting me know of any other cool ideas you might have that I could try with this stuff. And also, subscribe to our channel for more hacks of all kinds.